literally from mild <laughs> all the way up to wild, Dodge makes quite a few variations of its Charger sedan. And while it's wonderful to have choices, things can get a bit confusing when deciding which model to buy, especially at the higher end. I'm Chris Model Academics, and today I'm going to share five reasons why this 2020 Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack Plus is better than a Hellcat. Obviously all of this is based upon my personal opinions, and before you ask, yes, we've driven a Hellcat and reviewed it. If you're interested, you can find a link to that review, as well as our Challenger 392 review in the description below. And don't get us wrong, the Hellcat is an amazing machine, we just think the 392 might be the better buy, especially if it'll be used as a daily driver. So let's get started. Number 1. Styling. Both cars have the wide body kit, which in addition to looking mean, it also includes the top performing wheels, tires, and brakes. They look very similar, and guess what? Handling and braking are very similar too. Number two, the interior. Again, they look pretty similar. Yeah, the Hellcat has carbon fiber and navigation, but the former is merely aesthetics and the latter can be handled by Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in this one. Plus, all the performance goodies are present, including the leather flat bottom steering wheel, the SRT performance pages, configurable drive modes, line lock, and launch assist. Which brings us to number three, power. We never complain about too much power, and while the Hellcat 707 is definitely intoxicating, this 392 Scat Pack makes a much more forgiving 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque, which is more than plenty for everyday driving. Plus, it's naturally aspirated for your purists out there. With the exception of a few less opportunities to scare you, <laughs> the driving characteristics are very similar. I mean, without being an engineer, you'd be really hard pressed to identify any notable differences in suspension tuning. They're both big cars, and while they may not feel quite as agile as a Mustang or Camaro, either variation of the Charger is what you'd probably enjoy more on an extended road trip. If I'm going to be totally honest, I do miss the supercharger whine of the Hellcat, but the exhaust note is all there. <laughs> it's still a challenge to get traction, but when you do, 0 to 60 is eclipsed in just 4.3 seconds, completing the quarter mile in 12.4 seconds. Yeah, that's a bit slower than the Hellcat, but it's still really fast. A byproduct of number three brings us to number four, fuel economy. Less power means better fuel efficiency. And at 15 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway, and 18 miles per gallon combined, you're getting about three miles per gallon better than the Hellcat. With a bit of restraint, we saw an impressive 20.4 miles per gallon during testing. And that's something we all can appreciate. Alright, we finally made it to number 5, price. Raise your hand if you like saving money. Me too. <laughs> and with a total price of $50,180, this 392 Scat Pack wide body is almost $30,000 cheaper than the Hellcat. Not bad. It's this final reason that brings the previous four reasons into perspective. And in my opinion, making this 392 the better buy as a daily driver. So let me know what you think in the comments section below. Is the 392 a better buy or is price not an issue and your team Hellcat all the way? As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.